My name is Gavin Evans and this is my review of Barry Season 2 and this will be a spoiler filled review so if you haven't seen it, go and watch it. Then come back and watch my review because I will be going in depth. Now I really enjoyed the first season of Barry so I just immediately went into Season 2 and this is another damn good season of television. It takes everything that's great about the first season and expands upon it in appropriate ways. Let's begin talking about the cast and the characters once again. And first we're going to have Bill Hadel, who's still fantastic in this show. In fact, as this season was going about, I kept thinking of Bojack Horseman and there are certain similarities between this character and that one. Just the way that they're both heavily flawed, they keep trying to do their best and then they get, and then they go back into their old habits. There's a lot of similarities here, but the way Bill Hader plays this character, he does so in such a perfect manner. And there's this tension in this season because he has to do this scene with Sally where he plays her abusive ex-husband and he has to choke her. And he doesn't want to go into that place. So anytime they performed this scene, I was on edge because I'm just like, is he going to choke her? I hope he doesn't. And that's where the Bojack Horseman comparisons come from because of Bojack Horseman season five. But yes, I do love his evolution in this season and I think the show has a brilliant moment regarding him early on because everybody has to talk about something in their past that really affected them. So then Barry's talking about the first time he killed a guy in the military and you'd expect it to go a specific way well, he shoots a guy and he breaks down into tears. And I was just like, well, this is going to be a predictable scene. And the way the scene plays out, well, he doesn't break into tears, but everyone celebrates him and it's just like, oh my goodness, what an incredible shot. A brilliant subversion of expectations that builds upon this character in such a fascinating way. So I loved everything Bill Hader does in this season. And then you've got... Fuchs played once again incredibly well by Steven Root and I think he's really good here but I will say is that his character growth in this season feels like a retread of everything in the first season and I do think their friendship has some interesting elements about it about how Barry likes Fuchs because he's the only one he can really talk to but Fuchs just uses him time and time again and you can really see just how bad they are for each other here but that said I do not like the way they handled their friendship in this season because the season begins and they're not talking to each other. And then as it progresses, they start talking again and then they get into another fight about the same old stuff and then they're not talking to each other again and then they become enemies for the last bit. Just a very clunky bit of storytelling in this show. You know, they were already not talking to each other at the beginning of it just build off of that and have them become more and more enemies by the end of this season. We don't need this section where they reconnect and they're friends again because it just feels like a retread. I, it just felt like a backtrack that just wasted time. And I also didn't like it because it was in service of this storyline regarding one of the cops from season one. And you think that this guy is going to be the one who's obsessing over Barry and wants to capture him. And just everything regarding this character and his story and the way they just threw it away didn't work for me at all. And then we got Sarah Goldberg playing Sally and I think she is just fantastic in this season. A completely unlikable character by every means necessary but I think that's an intentional choice. I think she's brilliantly written and I love the character work whistle. Like I love how she struggles to deal with the actual truth of her past and how she's trying to make it into Hollywood using that. And then because of that, she's getting cast as all these victim characters. So then she rewrites her own past to be looked up to as someone who stood her own ground so she can get better performances. And I do like the whole idea of being authentic to yourself and how with movies, you can create any truth you want to. 
Like, if I made a movie about my life, I could manipulate it in such a way that makes people think whatever I want them to think. And how she kind of does that with this season and how she gets caught up in that fantasy. I do think the one line that she has about everyone competing with their grief was really funny. And I do love how it explores the unreliable narrator and the ex-husband coming back did feel a little forced, didn't quite work for me, but the way they handled his character in that one episode, I do think was done in an effective manner. And her relationship with Barry is still very fascinating. I'm still rooting against them, but you see a side of Barry with her where he's truly supportive and good for her in some ways, but that's also a specific side of himself that he's choosing to show, making it very complex. And she is awful to him. Like, just awful. Like, whenever she tries to get a good performance out of him, she's just completely unlikable. And she doesn't even hide her insecurities in the last little section regarding him. Then you've got Noho Hank, played once again so well by Anthony Kerrigan. This guy just cracked me up. When he shows up at Lululemon in a wig, I died laughing. I also love how his storyline revolving around the other two gangs is portrayed like it's a love triangle and I thought that was one of the funniest aspects of the show. There's also a subplot of his where Barry is training his men to be these lethal killers and I do like the idea of that but I just needed more of it. We only see it at the very start and at the very finish and it just seems like we're missing, missing some section in the middle. But the standout in this season is Henry Winkle. He's absolutely phenomenal here and the best I've ever seen him. He shows such emotional vulnerability this season while being hilarious at the same time and he just pulls it off so flawlessly. I love how what happened last season is still really affecting him and how he just feels completely alone in life right now and how he's reaching out to his son. I, I really loved everything they did with his characters this season. And like there's this one moment where Barry is telling him about this time where he killed someone and got away with it. And that scene is both emotional and it also hits those dramatic beats incredibly well, but it's also hilarious. And the way the show is just able to get so many emotions from one sequence is just impressive directing, but also Henry Winkler just delivered those beats so perfectly. And the storyline this season is good for the most part. It's a little messy, like I said, there's a bit of backtracking with the characters, but my goodness, the final 10 minutes of Barry going on a rampage against the people he trained to get to Fuchs was absolutely incredible. You just felt his desperation, and you can just you just see that darker side of him and you understand why he's there. Like what Fuchs did is truly terrible. And I, I just thought that made for a riveting season two finale. That said, I maybe would have liked a bit more closure with him and Fuchs. I hope season three doesn't just retread everything again, but I guess I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. And this season is once again hilarious. There's some jokes that just made me die laughing. like. There's one scene where Hank stands up to Barry and he does it very well and then he just immediately breaks character and starts puking and that cracked me up. Uh, there's a scene where this guy's trying to write something to communicate to someone and the guy can't read it at all and that cracked me up. Uh, Barry's roommates are oblivious to everything and he'll just walk out with a gun and they don't notice and <laughs> that cracked me up. And then the whole Barry getting an addition because he's tall I thought was just... It, it, it was really funny. But then we get to the one episode that I wanted to discuss in detail regarding this season. And it's Wani slash Lily. Now I looked it up online. This is everyone's favorite episode of this season. Everyone loves it. People call it just hilarious, incredible stuff. And I wish I liked this episode as much as they do. Now I still like this episode. I still think it's decent. But I thought the opening fight should have been better. Like, they introduce this guy who's a Taekwondo expert. 
and it should have been a really great and brutal fight, and it kind of is, but then Barry just punches him in the throat and it's over. I would have liked a bit more from it, but then we also get to my main criticism of this episode, which is not a popular opinion, which is the actual like 12-year-old girl acting like an animal. I, I didn't find it funny. I thought it was really stupid. The way that she was climbing everything, it was just a certain kind of humor that didn't work for me. And it feels like it's just something from an entirely different show. It doesn't fit with this show. But that all said, the final 5-10 minutes in the supermarket were comedic gold. Just the fight between um, Ronnie and Barry in the supermarket and just the way everything escalates there, I thought was really funny stuff. But like I said earlier, I still don't like the fact that they build up this cop character like that just for them to kill him off like that, making his character and his story feel completely irrelevant. This episode would work better for me in a vacuum, but it just does throw away a major plot like that. But anyways, overall, this is another damn good solid season of television. It might have sounded like I was more harsh on this season, but this season's also a lot more ambitious. It's trying to do a lot more stuff. So with that does come the potential for more criticisms, and that's the case here. I think there's lots of great story beats and lots of great character work and everyone gives a great performance, especially Henry Winkler. I did find it a little more messy and scattered as Sally's main plot this season, as good as it was, felt separate from everything else. And so did Hanks as we never really see Barry train his men. And once again, Fuke's story, good but then it backtracks and progresses again. So it just feels a little uneven, but the good outshined the bad. I really enjoyed this season. So I'm gonna go ahead and give Barry season two a seven out of 10. And I forgot to mention just once again, how great it is that this show has 30 minute long episodes. Just really fantastic, I love it. Every show take notes from this one, but this is yet another very good season of television. Have you seen Barry Season 2? What did you think about it? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned for some more videos soon, and Gavin out.